Start the clock. The member for Davenport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, this question is for the Premier. Last week, Adrienne Roberts received a notice that her employment as a teacher at Grand Erie District School Board will be terminated on August 31st, another sad outcome of this government's cuts to education. After Adrienne posted her layoff notice on Twitter, the Premier's office tweeted back condolences. Then they blamed the school board for playing politics. Speaker, the Premier's cuts to education and, frankly, their scheme to jam up to 20, 40 kids in secondary classes means Adrian will be just one of thousands of teachers without a job by the end of this government's term. Let's be clear, she has no choice. There are no there is no fairness, and there are no choices for these teachers. Is the Premier finally ready to admit that his cuts to classrooms will mean teachers lose their jobs? The question is to the Premier. Minister of Education. Refer to the Minister of Education. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And every day I'm pleased to stand up in this House and talk about how we are moving forward and making sure that our government continues to display actions and guarantee to people across Ontario that the learning environments in the classroom is our number one priority. You know, let's take a look at some other information that we're hearing. 100% of the Toronto Catholic District School Board high school teachers will have a job in September. In Lambton, Kent, we heard uh, specifically 82 teachers with the Lambton, Kent District School Board who were rumoured to be out of work by the next school year will be brought back in 2019. Oh. And we've also learned that other school boards that are choosing to fearmonger actually need to take a step back. We've asked Spons. school boards across this province to work with us, but unfortunately, we have just learned that the Toronto District School Board, instead of investing money in the classroom, they're investing money in their own administrative. Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remind the members when the speaker stands up, you have to sit down. Supplementary question. I should just start by saying that the minister is actually uh, needs to be corrected on that on that item because, in fact, if she's doing a great disservice to the Toronto District School Board. She knows perfectly well that that did not happen and it is not happening. Speaker, first, the Premier Order. blamed parents for skewing the results of this million-dollar education survey. I have to ask the member to withdraw. Have that unparliamentary comment. Okay. Speaker, Speaker, first the Premier blamed parents for skewing the results of his million-dollar education survey. Then he blamed students who oppose his plans, calling them pawns. Then he blamed teachers and education workers, calling them union thugs. And now this government, Mr. Speaker, is desperate, desperate to pin the blame on school boards. Anything anything to avoid taking actual responsibility Question. for the deliberate chaos they are causing in our schools. Why won't the Premier just be straight with Ontarians and admit that this plan means fewer resources, fewer class options, and fewer jobs for teachers? Thank you. The question has been referred to the Minister of Education. Thank you very much. Do you know what I cannot believe, Mr. Speaker, is that we saw it firsthand right here in this House that the member opposite is choosing to support a school board that is not putting money into the classroom and supporting teachers on the front line. The fact of the matter is she is absolutely spinning her wheels because the fact is the facts matter, and only when the Toronto District School Board got Opposition caught come last Thursday because media started inquiring did they choose to cancel the contract. Wow. Facts matter, and wow. you better stick with the facts because you're not getting anywhere else. And at least four Previous audits Response. and external reviews have identified procurement issues with the Toronto oh, District School Boards over the recent the years. Oh. Speaker, I there. absolutely appreciate all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The next 